virtual summer camp brought to you by Target. Welcome to the second episode of Target Virtual Summer Camp. My name is Adrian Winter Atwell. I am a feeder master from Trinidad and Tobago, also a former national chess champion, as well as Javane Smith, which is also a former national chess champion. In this episode, I will be teaching you about checks and checkmate. So let's start with each one of the pieces, and I hope that you will learn this very quickly. So let's start with the rook. So to check the king, what you have to do is line up one of your pieces with the king, okay? So in this case, we move the rook, we make sure the rook is in line with the king, and that is check, okay? So that is an example of check with a rook. With the knight, in this case, we have to make sure the, the king is at a jump from the knight. Remember, the knight moved in L shape, so we have to make sure the knight is literally lining up in an L shape to the king. So see the example? So notice how the knight is lined up in L shape to the king. So this is check because the knight is attacking the king. Literally, the king is in danger. The king is in check. Let's go to another piece. And this time we're coming with the bishop. So if we line up the bishop with the king, is check. So checking the king is actually very easy. You can see how the bishop is in diagonal lined up with the king, so that is check. Now let's go with the queen. The queen moves in multiple ways, so the queen could line up with the king to check him very easily. So in this case, the queen is right in front of the king, so we could see that that is also an example of check. The queen over there is now lining up with the king, but in diagonal, so this is another example of what a check is. Now, when the king is in check, the king could actually move all over the place when he's in check. You just have to move away from the check and that is fine. Let's go with the pawn. For the pawn to check the king, the pawn has to actually come very close to the king, because remember that, that the pawn moves in very small diagonal. So, let's see the pawn moving two squares forward, and notice how the pawn is in diagonal with the king, in a very small diagonal with the king, so that is check. The pawn is attacking the king at this moment. Now, if we remove the pawn. So as I was saying, in all these cases, the king is in a ball that is totally open. So if the king is checked, the king could just move away, a step away of the check, and will be totally fine. Now, what is checkmate? Well, checkmate is when the king is in check, but it has no way to run, it has no escape, and at that point of time, the game is over. Notice that for checkmate, you do not capture the king. In chess, you don't actually go and take the king. What you have to do, you check the king, and if the king cannot go anywhere, then that is checkmate. So you check the king, if he has nowhere to go, nowhere to block the check, then it is checkmate, game over. Okay, so in this case, I will put a rook right here, it is Black's turn to play. Okay. Now, the rook will move down. Notice now how the rook is in line with the king, okay? But the king is in check, but he cannot move anywhere. The pawns are blocking the king, so the king cannot escape. The king is too far to capture the rook. So that is an example of checkmate, when the king is in check, but cannot go anywhere. So this is all for this segment. Um, we are going now for break time and we will be back. So remember, we are here at Target Virtual Summer Camp. Stay tuned. Virtual Summer Camp, brought to you by Target. Target Corn Beef's there for you, yeah. Your happiness is our target. Target Corn Beef is here for you in so many ways. We understand the challenges of this difficult time, so we're giving you the gifts you need to make it through. When you purchase Target Corn Beef, you now have the chance to win family staycations plus restaurant and bookstore vouchers. Check in-store or online for more details. 
Target corned beef. Every day, so many ways. Distributed by Amco, a subsidiary of Ansa Macau. Virtual Summer Camp, brought to you by Target. Hello everyone, welcome to Target Virtual Summer Camp and we are back and in this time you see that all the pieces are set up and we are ready to start learning about some concepts of the game okay so now what are those things called concept of the game actually those are ideas on how to play the game properly now that we have learned how to move the pieces we have to learn where the pieces should go when we are playing chess so we look like professionals although we are beginners now let's start by um, understanding that in chess we have to try to control the center of the board okay so we start moving the pawn in front of the king two squares forward so in chess white plays first that's the first thing I want you to remember white plays first so white starts moves his, his pawn two squares forward and black follows doing the same thing now after you control the center, which is the fourth um, rule that you have to try to follow, then we try to bring out all our pieces, okay, as fast as possible. So we start with the knight, so white brings out the knight. Notice how the knight move in L shape. Black brings out the knight. Then white will bring out the bishop. Black also brings out the bishop. So notice at this stage, we're just bringing out the pieces, getting our army set up for battle. Now it is um, White's turn to play. And look at this one here. In chess, there's a special move called castle. So to castle, you want to move your king two squares and then you put the rook next to the king, okay? So you move your king two squares and you put the rook next to the king now one of the rules of castling is that between the king and the rook there should be no pieces okay so black cannot castle yet because there is a knight right there between the rook and the king so black now first brings out the knight because black is looking forward to bring out pieces white brings out the knight as well and now, because there, is, there are no pieces between the king and the rook, now black could castle. Remember, to castle, you move your king two squares and put the rook right next to it. That is the only time in chess where you could move two pieces, okay, in one move. Then, since we have finished bringing out the knight, we brought one of the bishop, we castle, we have control, the center. Now it's time to make sure that that bishop also comes out. So we have to make room for the bishop to come out because the bishop cannot jump over the pawn. So we play the pawn forward, one square. Black does the same, play the pawn one square forward, making sure that the bishop could come out. So this bishop could come here, could put it on maybe on e3 there. So we bring out the bishop and black is going to do the same, bringing out the bishop. Now, after you have brought the bishop, we move the queen carefully, just one step forward. Black does the same, one step forward. And then we could bring our rooks to the center. So black bring, white bring one rook to the center. Black brings one rook to the center. White also bring a rook to the center. Black brings a rook to the center. And with this, we have finished developing the pieces. So we are ready for the battle, okay? Thank you, we are going for break time and we are coming back for a game. Virtual Summer Camp, brought to you by Target. Target Corn Beef is there for you, yeah. Your happiness is our target. Target Corn Beef is here for you in so many ways. We understand the challenges of this difficult time, so we're giving you the gifts you need to make it through. When you purchase Target Corn Beef, you now have the chance to win family staycations plus restaurant and bookstore vouchers. Check in store or online for more details. Target Corn Beef, every day, so many ways. Distributed by Amco, a subsidiary of Ansa Macau. Virtual Summer Camp, brought to you by Target. Hello.
Hello everyone, welcome to the last segment of Target Virtual Summer Camp. In this segment, we're going to be playing some games. So we have here Javan Smith facing Al Pacino Smith in a chess battle. So first, let's see what is going to happen in this game. So just watch what they're doing. So Al Pacino, whenever you're ready, you can start. So I see Al Pacino moving forward, pushing his pawn two squares forward. Javana making a strange move, pushing that pawn in a corner. Pacino now brings out his bishop, pointing at the at where the black king is. Javana pushes another pawn. Pacino brings out the queen, and both his queen and his bishop are pointing at where the black king is. It's Javana's turn to play. And she just brings out the knight. It's Al Pacino's turn. Let's see what is going to happen here. Whoa, look at that. Al Pacino just captured the pawn right next to the king. And that is actually checkmate. The queen is attacking the king. The bishop is protecting the queen. So the king cannot capture the queen. So that is literally game over. Don't worry, Javana doesn't normally play like this. This is to show you what happens when you just push pawns and you do not bring out your pieces, okay? And you do not control the center. So let's go now to game number two. Let's see what will happen in this battle. So that is one for Al Pacino and zero for Javana so far. So now white plays first, Al Pacino, let's go. So F3, what a strange move. Move the pawn in front of the king, following the good concepts of the game. Pacino now pushes another pawn from the corner. What is that? Oh, look, now the queen comes and attacks the, the king in diagonal. So that is called check, but it's checkmate because the king has no way to run. The king cannot move to the side, cannot block the check. Nothing could happen here. So this is literally game over. Black wins by just playing two moves. She controlled the center with the pawn, and then she brought her queen to the corner here, attacking the white king, and game was over. Now, let's see what happens when players play a game following the concepts and trying to play good, controlling the center, developing the pieces, and this is what they're going to be doing now. And you will see how everything works to be totally different. Both players are fighting for control of the center. Both players are bringing out the pieces, okay? So now you see that both players, well, Apacino has castled, mean that, meaning that his king is safe. Javana is bringing out her pieces. She has brought out her, her two knights and her bishop. Now she has castled as well, and Al Pacino is bringing out his pieces as well. So this is an example of what you should do when you are playing a chess game. Just bringing out your pieces, controlling the center, paying attention where you put your pieces, that you do not give away pieces or anything like that. And uh, this is what they are doing now. Notice both knights are out, um, both bishops are out. They are just capturing pieces. So, the, the exchanges are equal, a bishop for a bishop. So everything is going actually good in this game. So this is like an example of how to play a chess game. And uh, this was our lesson by um, Javana Smith, Al Pacino Smith, and myself, Adrian Winter Atwell. Don't forget to check us, okay, on a &M Teaching Services on Facebook or Chess for Life Chess Club on Facebook as well, okay? Thank you, and play a lot of chess. Bye-bye. Virtual Summer Camp, brought to you by Target.